It's a great time to be an Avatar The Last Airbender fan, but perhaps it's even a better time to be a new fan because next year in 2025, 10th October 2025 to be precise, we'll be getting a new animated Avatar The Last Airbender movie tentatively titled as Ang The Last Airbender or Ang The Last Airbender. And hold on, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that this will be another those kind of a retelling of the story of the first animated series like it will be another reboot like we had recently the live action version on Netflix. But don't worry, it's not going to be the retelling or it's not going to be a reboot of the original animated series. In fact, it's going to be the continuation of the first animated series of Avatar The Last Airbender. I mean, that is just the purest form of the continuation that we can have in the world of Avatar The Last Airbender. But this is not it. It's not going to be one single movie. In fact, they are planning for a trilogy. That means this continuation story of Avatar The Last Airbender from the animated series will be told in three different movies. Though the release date of the other two movies are unknown, but at least we'll be getting the first movie next year itself. And again, hold on. This is again not it. There is a separate studio dedicated to make this Avatar The Last Airbender universe movies, the new studio that is formed is named as Avatar Studios. Hmm. And it is actually created by Paramount and Nickelodeon. And as I said, this studio is solely made to produce even more Avatar The Last Airbender universe's content in animated form, be it this trilogy or be it another few spin-off movies or some individual movies told about some specific characters or some specific storylines. I mean, bring it on, that's all we want. And that's why I said that if you're a new fan of Avatar The Last Airbender, you are in for a treat because you have the recently released live action version on Netflix, then you have the OG Avatar are the last airbender series the animated one next year you will be having another movie and you do have legend of Korra. speaking of legend of Korra, let me tell you the storyline of this new animated movie that we'll be getting next year so the plot details are not at all revealed but still we do know that it will be the continuation of the story from the animated series but now we also know if you are a big fan of avatar the universe like i am i know you are absolutely aware of the legend of Korra animated series which was indeed the continuation of the first animated series which aired on nickelodeon from 2005 to 2008 but that was in a completely different context because the events of the Legend of Korra's animated series actually takes place 70 years after the battle with Fire Lord Ozai in the animated series Avatar The Last Airbender. So there is actually a 70 year gap between both the animated series and one more thing, the Legend of Korra, I mean Korra is actually the next Avatar after Avatar Aang and therefore Avatar Aang in those 70 year period actually dies. And in this animated series Legend of Korra, we also got to see our older gang. I mean Ang, Katara, Sokka, Pilot Zuko, we see them all but in an older form. So therefore, we exactly know how that story will be 70 years from the Fire Lord Ozai fight. But now we don't know what actually happened between those 70 years. I mean, we do know some flashes of it, but we don't know the real stuff of it. And that real stuff will actually be explored in the new movie that we'll be getting next year. And now here's another catch. Some people say or some fans have theorized this how the Republic city that we see in Legend of Korra was actually made this will be told in this movie because we know that that city was actually made by Fire Lord Zuko and Avatar Aang. So what actually inspired the city to be built and a lot of things revolved around that city in Legend of Korra as well so we might get to see the backstory of that city that how it was built. We do know how it was built from Legend of Korra but we may go in depth in knowing those things in the next movie that we'll be having next year and now the biggest thing of this video who will be the voice cast or who will be the voice actors in the next animated movie and the first name is Dave Bautista. Dave Bautista will actually be a villain in the animated movie. Yes, though we don't know that what that villain is going to be or who that villain is going to be, but at least we know that he'll be voicing that villain. And the second thing we do know, the voice actor who gave the voice to Zuko in the animated series will actually be giving his voice again to Zuko in the next animated movie. But if you think about it, this animated movie will actually going to be the continuation of the animated series that was first aired about 19 years ago in 2005. So the voice actors at that time would be early teens or kids and now they are would be full-blown adults so they could actually come back and voice their own characters respectively but we don't know really that if that is going to happen or not there's no official confirmation on that but here's a thing yes a hopeful thing that i want to leave you with at the end of this video and that thing is that the voice actor who voiced the role of Toph in the animated series actually said in an interview that she didn't believe the original cast would return 
I mean that's a hint over there but yet there is no official confirmation of that. So do me a favor and please comment below your excitement about Avatar The Last Airbender movie that we'll be getting next year and potentially we'll be having a trilogy of that. You can check out some other videos on my channel as well and as always thank you so much for watching.